Mr. Lazad, I got a question for you. Uh, Lazad, am I saying that correctly? Uh, ShireSociety.com Oh, a question for you. Uh, did you hear about this uh, this incident? I guess not too long ago, where uh, I guess they, the the bo board actually voted to keep Mr. Pearl, one of the board members, from running his projector during a meeting. Did you hear about this? No. Do you think that the board should be involved in taking votes on something so petty? I don't remember the vote on that. Yeah, I guess it was a three to two vote as to whether or not uh, Mr. Pearl could use his projector. When was that? No, this was probably in, during the last session. I would guess about a year ago. Oh, Superintendent Littlefield here is running behind the camera, or I should say walking behind the camera. Um, he doesn't like being on camera. But, uh, I mean, if a vote like that comes up again, are you going to try and stop votes like that from happening? Are you going to vote yes, you can use the projector? or? guess I wasn't there for the vote, so I couldn't answer to what and how it was voted on. If it was a year ago, that was before me. Okay, it was before your time. Yeah. You weren't in you so were, then I your can't last time state I was here. how yeah. I would vote on it at that time. Without knowing, well, there was, a, I guess, an incident where the former board chair actually called the police on a member of the audience and had him removed for speaking, probably out of turn. What would you say is the appropriate time to call police and use them against the public? <laughs> Again, I, I, I hey, it was a situation at the time. I wasn't involved in it, so did it's you hard. see it? No, hmm. nope, I did not. And what's your name? Mike Barry. Okay, Mr. Barry, thanks for your time. Yeah. How are you, Mr. Barry? How are you? Good. Yourself? Good. Is that you? Hello, sir. Oh, I got a question for you. Yeah. Yep, I got. I heard that the, uh, the the former board chair actually accused you of hanging up on her and the union leader. What happened there? Your uh, email. We got a new board now, so we really the uh, the old board and whatever happened there is irrelevant now. We got a great board we're working with. Well, was there a reason why you hung up on her? I don't remember hanging if you up on her. Even, even if you did it, I yeah, mean, she not, accused not you. I've got a quote here from the union leader. Yeah. Okay, so you're not sure you even hung up. Yeah. No. Okay, all right, thanks. Negotiating a contract, but the dialogue is going to be in. And that might, might have been a step that was missing the first time. Okay, so we're, and from what I'm hearing, we're basically a subcommittee, we're not necessarily called the negotiation subcommittee, but. Discuss the detail here in public. Um, that's part of what will. Why should people be forced to pay your salary? And for the second time, did you really tell Rich Gerard to go screw? Another question for you, Mr. Liskars. There's a sign on that wall that says respect property. Yep. Does this school district respect property when someone can't pay their taxes or do they seize the house? Oh, that's a that's a loaded question, I guess. But I believe that sign is true. Respect property. So why is it on a school district when the school district takes money by force? I can't answer that question. No, there's no one can. Mr. Lazad, I got a question for you. Uh, no Lazad, am I saying that correctly? No question. Uh, to what extent, I mean, there's a sign on this wall that says respect property, yeah. but you guys take people's tax money by force. How, isn't there a hypocrisy there? Uh, through RSA, correct? Right? Does that make it right? Always delegating the tyranny. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. 
you can sign up right now at shiresociety.com.